Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, a tender clocks in QB. So you can find the source in the description to GitHub. So basically this is a QB ready sheet. This is where I always start. I have a, I have a sheet I copy and paste and start from here. I don't have to write this all the time. So I have a screen manager. I have an app in, in the build the uh, method. I'm returning the screen manager and I have some classes defined as defined as um, screens so let's start by creating a label in the first screen all right let's say a screen and let's define our let's define our label and uh, text let's uh, say summary let's give it a font size um, font size let's say um, how much we want it root dot height point oh yeah and let's say size as uh, root dot width sorry cannot type point two and uh, root dot eight or point one let's say a position is uh, we want it to be in the middle right so root dot width in the middle so 0.8 1 minus 0.2 it's 0.8 divided by 2 it's 0.4 yeah this way and uh, root dot 8 45 this way so mm, we have to give it a color because it's black on black it's not going to be shown so let's say one 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 this way let's see how this works okay this is something this is our label so now we're going to define a, we're going to define we're going to define a a function it's called update label you can call it whatever you want but it always takes self self and and arcs in here what we're going to do is just for now print something okay Let's say hello. In here, we're gonna define a clock. Clock dot schedule interval. Interval. We're gonna call it. We're gonna call the update label. But how much? One time per second, or just two time, or just two times per second? Let's keep it uh, at two times per second. All right, it's like this. One divided uh, one divided by two. Two times per second. I just type it this way. Okay, let's run it and see what happens. You can see here that I am printing something and the clock is being called. Okay. Right now, let's uh, let's uh, let's modify the label, shall we? So. What we're gonna do? Let's let's just create a count here. Self dot count equal to zero, and in here we have to increment the count. All right, and uh, let's say we want to print. No, we have to. We want to change the label, so we have to give it an ID. ID just let's just call it LD really so self dot ids dot lb is equal to dot text of course is equal to let's say function something called plus the str we have to convert this into a string so self dot count plus uh, Let's just say something times this way. Let's see if this works. Okay, now you can see that I am uh, that the number that the self count is incrementing two times per second. Let's, let me just let me just delete this. Okay, let me rerun it. Okay, now you can see I am calling this two times per second, but what if I want to stop this? What if what if I want to stop the clock? 
because you know clocks always uh, always consume memory if you're gonna keep calling this in your if you're gonna be calling this and you do not need it then you have to stop it else it's gonna consume all your memory so let's uh how we're gonna stop it let's create a button and stop it with a button you can stop it by whatever you want maybe condition maybe something i don't know let's say button let's give it a text let's stop and let's give it a size of uh, root dot width of 0 0.2 and uh, root dot height 0 0.5 and the position we want to be centered so root dot dot width 0.4 and root dot height 0.3 all right let's see if this works let's add it uh, on press actually on press and let's just call it um, root dot stop we have to create this function because because it's not created yet so def uh, let's call it stop as it's called there it takes self and um, for now let's just say oh let's just uh, Let's, let's pass for now and see if it works yeah here's the function here's the button and still increment so now we want to stop this clock by clicking on this so in here we're gonna come here and do this clock dot and schedule I don't know if it's a scaps or not maybe it's not I guess and schedule I really cannot cannot type Uh, clock in schedule would say update label cell course and see if it works all right where am i so it's still incrementing so six times nine times eleven times twelve so when i click the button it stopped all right this is how you stop this is how you stop a clock so if you you can if you want to create another function here uh, called the uh, start function start this way so we have to define self copy this pass this the same size let's change the position let's give it a width of 04 but the height is different let's give it 6 and in here let's call it start right in the, and in here let's co copy this and paste it here cut this and paste it here let's see how this works now I have two buttons uh, okay let me just start this let's change this to start right okay now when I want to start this you can see that I'm starting this at the and the count is incrementing so now I want to stop it this way you can restart it you can stop it I hope you enjoyed the video how I hope it has been uh, helpful to you you can find the source in the description goodbye